tomorrow, Ohio, Kentucky and Indiana will begin administering the COVID-19 vaccine to anyone between 12 and 15 years old. One Florence pediatrician enrolled her four kids in the children's COVID-19 clinical trial. I talked with her and her son about why they decided to go through this process. I talked to Ben, who was 15 at the time, and Ty, who was 13 at the time, and asked them, I said, here's, here's the data, here's the evidence, are you guys interested? And they both decided that they did want to go ahead and do it. Um, and so we got them their shots back in December. And then when I heard the trial was opening for the five to 12 year olds, um, I asked my two littles, I said, do you guys, are you interested in doing this? You can talk to your brothers. They both decided that they definitely wanted to go ahead and do it. So, um, so we got them all enrolled. Why weren't you worried or were you? Of course, everybody's a little bit worried, right? Whenever you're doing something new, um, regardless of, of everything, you know, looking at the studies and everything, it is something new. So you're a little bit nervous, but, um, you know, Cincinnati Children's has such a great reputation. They're a good hospital. Um, they made it very clear to us at any time, if we wanted to not do it anymore, we could with no, no penalty. So the kids understood that going forward. So Ben, your mom says, what do you think? Look at the evidence here, make a decision. How did you feel and what were you thinking? So when she asked me, hey, would you potentially like to be a part of this study? I don't know if we can get in. I don't know. But would you like to try it out? I was like, absolutely. I um, felt like it was really important. I felt like, number one, the people working on it know what they're doing. You know, these are people who have been working on mRNA, specifically vaccines, have been going on or at least been, have been in the works for a long time. And these and people wouldn't. Um, we wouldn't start trials if we weren't sure that they were safe on humans, right? Well, even though the Drobics are in Kentucky, I did ask them about their thoughts on Governor DeWine's vaccine incentive. Both of them commended the governor, but Dr. Drobic says getting the vaccine should be a reward in and of itself. In other words, you're taking care of your own health.